I was chairman of a board in the metallurgical coal business that was acquired by an American company also in the metallurgical coal business for a significant premium. So it took my directors about a nanosecond to put their hands up that this was a great sale and I went on the board of the American company that had taken over. Turns out that board uh, was largely dysfunctional. The chair of the audit committee was 91 and sometimes lost the thread of his attack or explanation. Another director was in his mid-70s who really loved Italian wine. So any topic that was raised at the board meeting ended up in a vintage discussion about whether this was better than that and the taste. And, and the chair would let these folks ramble on. And the metallurgical coal prices were dropping. It was a time of significant cash flow stress. Uh, the Chinese customers were getting very upset about the fixed price contracts they'd inherited and, 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 and. So there was a tremendous amount of managerial angst, a tremendous amount amongst those of us on the board not afflicted with either dementia or case of Italian wine. And um, I went to the chair on three separate occasions, one on one. This just isn't working. This company is in a lot of stress. We're going to be getting under more stress. These two guys aren't contributing. You should either shut them up or get them replaced by somebody who knows something a little bit more intimate about the businesses we're in. And he didn't. Um, and eventually, the sad ending is the company went into Chapter 11, went bankrupt. They never did address the problems. I resigned from the board, being unable to change the process that this man had installed. And it was a very unhappy time. I, I thought the management team was exceptionally good and the board was just completely dysfunctional. Not only did it not add value to the course of the strategy of how to get through this crisis in metallurgical coal prices, but I think it actually helped sink the ship.